We now have information on forthcoming Apple Watch improvements, ranging from larger displays to blood glucose monitoring. So, let's get started. So, starting with larger displays, research group Omdia predicts significant advancements for both the normal Apple Watch and the SA next year. Essentially, we could see a 10th anniversary Apple Watch, similar to the iPhone 10, to recognize 10 years of this product. Remember that the first generation watch was unveiled in September of 2014? To honor this, an Apple Watch Series X could be released in 2024. The main improvements will be larger displays, with a smaller size of 1.89 inches and a larger size of 2.4 inches. This represents a 5 to 10% increase over current Apple Watch sizes, which is rather nice. And given how frequently Apple redesigns the Apple Watch, this makes sense. Because, as previously said, the first generation watch, followed by Series 2 and 3, all have identical designs. Then there were the Series 4, 5, and 6, all of which had the same design. As a result, the sizes for Series 7, Series 8, and Series 9 this year should be the same. Then, of course, there are larger displays with the Series X. And because we'll be getting larger displays with the normal porch, the Aceta Dots Series 7 design can be used. Because, of course, the SA now employs the Series 4 design language. So, certainly, the SE3 should get the 4C1 and 45mm size options with larger displays in 2024. That will be a significant improvement. Because, as you may recall, we now have a full-size keyboard on the Series 8 due to the larger panel. So, if the SE3 could have this, it would be a welcome change for many. However, I think Apple is being dumb by not bringing the full-size keyboard to previous watches. Because, as previously stated, the 41mm Series 8 is smaller than the 44mm size. However, some watches do not have this capability for some reason. As a result, it appears to be deliberate obsolescence. But, in any case, I'm delighted the SA was able to obtain this. Now that there are no more specifics about Series XE, I'm wondering if we'll see changes to the body itself. Of course, there were rumors about the Series 7 receiving flat sides, which proved to be false, and the Ultra got flat sides instead. So may Series X now follow suit? A design tweak for the standard timepieces would be excellent, in my opinion. But yes, the main update will be larger displays. This rumor also indicates an increase in display size for the Apple Watch Ultra. Other sources, especially Jeff Poo and Ross Young, have also mentioned this. Given that we have three sources confirming this, it appears to be very likely. And for those wondering how much bigger it'll get, it'll be 2.13 inches, which is a significant increase over the current 1.99 inch panel. Hey, we've heard so much about next year's Apple Watches, but what about this year's Apple Watch? So here's the deal. We're not sure if the Ultra will receive yearly updates like the ordinary Apple Watch. And we all know that the SA does not get yearly updates. As a result, the Ordinary Series 9 Apple Watch is the only one we know for certain will be released this year. And, as previously said, because this will be the third year of the Series 7 design, don't expect a redesign or an increase in display size. On the inside, it should get a chip upgrade. Because, interesting fact, the S6, 7, and S8 chips are all identical. As a result, the S9 could be the first significant performance increase for the Apple Watch, but that's all there is to it. This will be another minor update. Returning to future Apple Watch upgrades, blood glucose monitoring is a major upgrade that has been in the works for years. The fact that the primary technique of measuring glucose has been pricking the skin for blood testing has been a major challenge for Apple. Apple, of course, cannot accomplish this with the watch. As a result, they've been working on non-invasive methods of implementing this technology for the Apple Watch. And Garmin claims to have made significant progress. So. Apple is working on a silicon photonics chip that employs optical absorption spectroscopy to shine laser light under the skin and assess the concentration of glucose in the body. That seems pretty high-tech, but if it works well, it may be game-changing. The main difficulty that Apple is now dealing with is miniaturizing this technology and making it fit on the Apple Watch. Right now, the prototype device using this technology is the size of an iPhone. Previously, the technology was large enough that it required a tabletop. As a result, that would not be appropriate for an Apple Watch. As a result, that will be the major barrier and the reason why this will not be released anytime soon. To be honest, I'm thrilled Apple is working on it since it has the potential to change many people's lives. 
and it would give the Apple Watch a significant advantage over rival smartwatches. That's all there is to it, guys. However, please share your thoughts on this story in the comments section. Anyway, thank you for your time. Make sure to like and subscribe to such news and rumors. And with that, I'll see you in the next one.